Okay guys, um, hi everybody, hello Sky, yes, Sky has joined us for this uh, little uh, discussion about cow poo. Um, something which uh, I, I as a farmer probably is ju have just taken for granted for so long, uh, it's been something in the fields that uh, just happened to be there and getting in the way usually and making a mess, but it uh, is in fact a vital part of an organic uh, closed loop system. And uh, when the cows are outside eating, eating the grass, as they should be, uh, we believe, uh, the, what, the, they're producing dung and the dung lands on the ground and um, we've got some shots of some dung here. Uh, what happens to that piece of dung? Does it just sit there forever? No, of course it doesn't. It breaks down. What's breaking it down? What's happening? And that is, that is a vital part of this whole cycle system. So, so exciting. Um, <laughs> Uh, I don't know, really know an awful lot about it, but what I do know is that we've got dung beetles and we've had a poke around in this one. Uh, we've got dung beetle larvae, we've got um, uh, uh, eel worms, we've got all kinds of things living in here and they're breaking this thing down. They're, they're incorporating a lot of that uh, dung into the soil. The dung beetles are a vital part of that. Um, uh, but all the all the other insects that are feeding on that and and it is it's such a a, a critical part of the carbon cycle so they're taking that dung breaking it down uh, incorporating it into the soil getting it into the into the whole food system and uh, releasing the nutrients for the grasses and the, the herbs to grow on um, and um, the, uh, the the problem that we used, I mean, what we used to do, we, uh, and, and most farms are like this, um, we used to treat the cows for uh, for um, parasites, and uh, that that parasite treatment kills the all this wildlife, most of it kills most of it because it is toxic to um, uh, invertebrates, and uh, and so. You were you were just you were breaking that vital part of that um, nutrient cycling chain, which meant that you became more and more dependent on using these uh, interventions, if you like, uh, fertilizers. You'd had to add fertilizers. You had to add um, uh, pesticides because the natural balance had been broken, uh, the natural cycles had been broken, the balance had been uh, upset and uh, you're having to replace it with chemicals. So you became so dependent on adding more and more of these chemicals um, to keep the system going. And these chemicals we know now are actually quite toxic. They're adding to uh, environmental pollution, they're adding to environmental damage. And what I've discovered, we've 20 years doing this, what we've discovered is we don't need them. We can actually farm without them, but it is not easy. It is not easy. It takes a long time to find out uh, how to do it. And, but once you learn and once you uh, get into that, that system, it is, it is, it is all there for nothing and it's doing no harm. It's helping the biodiversity, it's helping with uh, productivity. We can produce our food without uh, poisoning the environment. So, okay, that's just a very simple uh, farmer's view of uh, the, um, the, the carbon cycle in, in grazing livestock. Okay, thanks very much guys. See ya.